Hi guys, welcome back to the Inge's Garage. I am Young Swag, and I am here for you guys today to talk about this new bike, which was just purchased mm, a couple days ago mm -hmm. for $200. Wow. So yeah, it's definitely a fixer upper. Yeah. The seat's ripped. It definitely looks like the tank needs a little bit of TLC. Mm-hmm. This is definitely one of the next projects that the engine has on its plate to fix up for you guys and put out new videos for you. Mm-hmm. That's all Young Side has. Anyways, hit that like button and subscribe. And tell them to comment too. Oh yeah, and comment on the videos. So today I did something I said I wasn't going to do in the time lapse video, build another bike, but we're going to. So this is it. Let's check it out. Heck yeah, that's awesome. All right, I'll see you in 30. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm sitting outside Costco right now getting gas. It's taken freaking forever, but I'm kind of excited today. I'm going up to Oakhurst. It's like an hour and a half drive. I'm gonna pick up the trailer after this, but I'm headed up to look at a bike. It's a total mystery bike. And uh, so I don't know what it's gonna look like, but it's $200. It was abandoned on a guy's property, so he just wants to get rid of it. He was basically like, if you don't take it, like I'm probably just gonna scrap it anyway, so. Yeah, that's where we're at. I'm, I'm trying to get gas though. <laughs> so hopefully it's a cool bike. All right, so now it's pretty much smooth sailing and uh, kind of the nerves are gone. I'm kind of all shaken out. I'm just hoping that the bike looks halfway decent. If it looks halfway decent, I'll be happy with the purchase, but yeah, man. So he just told me that he's gonna get the paperwork ready and I'll be there in about 30 minutes, 25 minutes at this point. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, well, here she is. This is a 2009 or a 1990 Yamaha XV 1100. I'm just diagnosing the bike at this point. Uh, the back wheel seized up and uh, shifting is, is not really there. You can hear it kind of clicks but I, I think that there was not much oil in this bike. And that's actually what I'm testing right now. All righty, so I decided to buy it. <laughs> $200 is not a big investment. Looks like all the parts are there. It definitely has been dropped. Um, he said he found it on its side next to the road, so uh, it's, it's definitely a mystery bike. And I can't tell what's wrong with it, so. Anyway, let's load this thing up. Filled out the paperwork, we got that all done. She's officially my bike. <laughs> the mystery bike, so. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what she needs. I can hopefully there's not too much repairs I need to do before it gets back on the road. And for $200, I can't complain. So, let's get this thing home. All right, so we finally got it off the trailer. The back tire is seized up, um, that it doesn't turn at all. So we were like trying to get it off the trailer. You can see here the skid mark from the, t the tire. Yeah, it was a beast to try to push without a back tire all the way up here on the driveway. But this is it, this is the new build. Um, this is a 1990 Yamaha Virago or XV 1100. It's basically a cruiser bike and I got it for $200. Um, the way it is, it was $200 as is. It was a lean sale, so it, basically a tow yard found it on the side of the road. Um, so it had been running, but they found it on the side of the road and they towed it back to their yard, did the lean sale paperwork, and that's how I got it for $200. Basically, it should have just been sitting for a few months and they needed to get rid of it. And it was up the roadways. It was about an hour and a half from me up in the mountains. Um, so I don't think pe too many people from this area were biting on it. And I don't think there's too many people in that area who want a bike like this. So I think I was one of the first ones to come up and grab it. So, so this is it right here. 
Um, again, it's a Virago, super, super sketched out. There's a DIY desktop speaker sound system, total beast sound system for riding with all your buddies. <laughs> and uh, some DIY air filter that just comes right off. Uh, the clamp doesn't appear to do too much. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I think I'm gonna go back to the stock air box, but I'm not sure. Um, so basically the plans for this build is um, it's I'm gonna change it into a bobber and I don't really like bobbers that much so I'm thinking it's gonna be a fix and a flip. Um, I want to get it riding again, I want to register it, get it all set, ride around on it for a couple months maybe, but then I am planning to sell it. So um, and it's gonna be a total beast bike too. I mean this is a XV1100 so it's a you know 1100 cc uh, V-twin engine and so it's gonna be a fun one it's gonna be a fun one but again I'm not a huge bobber fan but I do know they sell pretty well so when I saw this for $200 um, and that was total investment $200 I got the whole machine clearly it has been dropped a little bit um, this peg is bent so I'm sure and you can see here the this is the stock system and the muffler is all scraped up uh, coming around on the other side too you can see that um, this cover is missing, so this is the starter solenoid, um, they call it a catapult arm cover, um, that's missing. I already have one ordered on the way and you can see the shifter is bent and this whole piece is very loose. But it seems to shift into gears fine, it's just everything here is loose. Um, so that's the only problem. This back tire is locked up. It could be just because it's in gear and I can't get it into neutral because that whole thing is loose and, and it won't go into neutral easily. I don't know, but you can also see here the wear indicator for the back brake is at the very end of its life. So it could just be that the rear brake is just engaged. I had already loosened this up, um, so it could just be rusted in there, I don't know. So we'll, we'll diagnose that. And the last thing that I'm really concerned about, it looks like everything is okay. Um, it still had oil, still had fluids, but the next thing that I'm concerned about is the wiring and the wiring harness. I don't know what kind of stupid stuff that the previous owner did to this bike. Look at all this speaker wiring that they had wrapped all the freaking crazy around the bike. And they also put some kind of sketchy wiring in the light that was just masking taped on. And so I have no clue what happened here. But again, it's super sketchy and the wiring harness may be screwed up. They may have clipped a lot of stuff, who knows? So I might just, and I don't even know what this is. Like, look at this. This is a freaking, like a little raw, little switch for like a lamp. Like what the frick is this? And look, they just like twisted the wires together and taped it. I, I have no clue. Oh, that's for the, it's for the um, tail light. <laughs> what the frick? So I don't, this is literally cord from a lamp. Cord from a lamp right here, guys. This is the peak of humanity here, wrenching on bikes. <laughs> so anyway, um, didn't come with the key for the ignition. Again, the guy found it on the side of the road. They probably took the key and left. Um, so I have a new ignition on the way. Then we can just turn the key on and see what it needs, see if it works, um, and see what we need to do to get it back up and running. This is really a celebration because it's getting a new life. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Of course, I'm going to take all the seat off um, and all, all that kind of stuff. But we'll diagnose it in the next video. I'm planning to run to APF Motorcycle Salvage Yard like I did to get the kickstand for the Honda CX500 and get a bunch of new parts for this thing. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys are excited. I am. Um, we'll see if you know how long it takes to, to make some money off this thing, hopefully. Fix it. Enjoy it for a bit sell it to a new owner. So make sure you guys smash that freaking like button. Make sure to freaking subscribe. Make sure to comment your thoughts below on this next build. And we'll see you next video. Smash that like button and subscribe. And go ahead and comment on what you think this, this bike should be. Bye, bye, bye.